This is an update to the flashing video and I'm just going to show how to downgrade to 1.6 as well as upgrade to 2.1 and I'm going to purposely mess up one of the flashes to demonstrate that this phone can't be bricked and no matter what happens if you install a custom ROM or a custom theme and something messes up you can always use PC Companion or Update Service to repair the phone uh, so you, again you cannot brick or ruin the phone. Um, to start off you must have PC Companion and Update Service installed to both those programs. Um, if you're using Vista or 7, turn off user account control and uh, make sure you run everything as administrator. So to start off, go to the website and download the Flash tool, uh, 0.2.9.1 uh, or 2.8. And once you do that, download the appropriate firmware. So 435 or 504, any one of the firmwares, depending on which one you want. When you download the firmware file, put it inside the firmware folder. So I've got different firmwares here, they're all a single file, and then it'll show up in Flash Tool. So I'm just going to run the Flash Tool and run as administrator. And it's going to pop up. Click on Flash. And I'm going to downgrade this to a 1.6 firmware from AT&T, just to demonstrate. Hit OK. I'm going to pull the battery out. Connect the phone. And put the battery back in. Hold the back button to get into flash mode, and put in the battery. So you can always get into flash mode, no matter what happens. The flash tool is going to pick up the ROM, and it's going to start flashing. I'm just going to turn on a stopwatch. Uh, flashing takes approximately three minutes uh, depending on the firmware. So again, if anything ever goes wrong with the phone when you're modifying it or flashing a custom ROM or a custom theme, just go into the flash tool and flash the phone again. Uh, flash mode loads up, the green flash mode loads up before any software, so you can always get into flash mode no matter what. If you plug in your phone and it's not recognized, it means you're missing drivers, so install PC Companion at an update service and make sure they're updated. So now the flash is complete. I'm just going to unplug the phone and start it up. So as you can see, the phone has been downgraded to an AT&T branded firmware on, on 1.6. And everything's running as it should. So now I'm just going to upgrade it again to uh, 2.1 to a Rogers ROM. So I'm going to go back into the Flash tool and click on Flash. This time I'm going to choose Rogers ROM. This should be, oh, this is a generic ROM. When you upgrade from uh, 1.6 to 2.1, make sure you have uh, wipe user data checked. OK. It's going to ask me to plug in the phone again. Just going to pull the battery, plug it in, hold the back button to get into flash mode, and Put in the battery. Green light turns on, and it's going to start the flash again. So flashing is now complete. Again, I'm just going to unplug the phone and start it up.
as you can see, the phone's finished flashing and booting up, and it's now running uh, 2.1. And that's how you flash and upgrade and downgrade your phone. Two point one update one, they span fifty four, build four three five, which is the latest uh, generic firmware for two point one. So now I'm just going to demonstrate. I'm going to purposely brick the phone and uh, just show you that you can flash it again. So I'm just going to flash it uh, using any firmware. I'm just going to use 504 this time, wipe data, and I'm going to mess up the flash on purpose. Just going to pull the battery, plug it in, connect in flash mode. It's going to start flashing the phone, and uh, halfway through, I'm just going to pull the battery so the flash is incomplete and, you, and show you that the phone won't boot up. So I'll let it get to about halfway, and then I'll pull the battery. So if you modify your phone by installing a theme or uh, multi-touch or the modem tweak, check my other videos, um, and something messes up, then and your phone gets into a boot loop or gets stuck or you get the uh, yellow exclamation mark, uh, for any reason, if your phone doesn't boot up, just flash it again because, again, you cannot break the phone, you can't ruin it, and you can always connect it in uh, flash mode and flash your firmware out to the phone again. So, I'm just going to unplug the phone and mess up the flash. On here, it's going to say error, obviously because I messed it up. Now I'm going to try to start up the phone. And I should get uh, a yellow exclamation mark or it should be stuck at the Sony Ericsson logo but it won't boot up because uh, it didn't comp finish flashing so if it does boot up I should use the clock see so you've got the yellow exclamation mark meaning uh, that uh, there's something wrong with the phone or the uh, firmware and I'm just going to demonstrate I'm just going to fix it by flashing it again. So I'm going to pull the battery, go back into the flash tool, and I'm just going to flash uh, 435 back onto it and make sure you have a uh, wipe user data checked. Connect the phone, connect in flash mode, and it's going to pick up the flash. And flashing is finished. Unplug the phone and start it up again. And as you can see, uh, the phone's finished flashing and it's been unbricked or restored. So again, you can't mess up this phone, you can't brick it, you can't break it. If anything happens, just flash it again. Um, if, it's the, if it's your first time flashing the phone, you're going to get this icon with a camera, and that just means that the software is being loaded. Um, that only shows up the first time you ever flash the phone. Uh, subsequently, you won't get that symbol again. And that's how you flash the phone. So again, to recap, go to the website. Download whatever firmware you want, download the flash tool, download the firmware, put the firmware file inside the firmware folder, and then start up the firmware, the flash tool. Uh, the flash tool extractor is in, I think, French, 
but the flash tool itself is available in multiple languages. Okay. And that's how you flash your phone.